Yes, friends, we are here again with an important issue. The subject we will talk about in this video is prophets. Why did Allah send prophets? Was it necessary? These questions are often questions of this. In other words, they accept a creator but don't accept his prophet and religion. They argue that there is no need for a prophet. Now, let's see, do we need prophets? We all went to school or still go. There are textbooks in school and teachers who tell and explain those books to us. So why are there teachers in the school? Can we not understand these books by reading them ourselves? Of course, we cannot understand. That's why those teachers were sent by the state to tell and explain those books. In other words, since we cannot read and understand with our own knowledge, someone who knows that book should explain it. That's why there are teachers in schools and universities. If we could solve it ourselves, there would be no need for teachers. We would understand by reading all the books. Just like that, we have a book like the universe, millions of galaxies, countless stars, systems and laws within each other, and great works of art. Every moment is a being and a extinction why was all this created who created them and destroys them who am i where did i come from where am i going what am i doing in the huge universe what is my mission we have such questions however we cannot understand this book of the universe by ourselves a prophet must be sent from the among us by the one who created us who will explain this universe and answer all our questions that prophet needs to explain to us who we are where we came from where we are going and why this whole universe exists so he should read the book of the universe to us that's why allah sent prophets to enlighten people and to answer their questions the last of them is the holiness muhammad peace be upon him we will not talk about whether the prophet muhammad peace be upon him is right or not we will talk about it in the future videos yes friends there's a universe book in front of us that we don't know how to read and there are very important questions in our minds that we cannot answer allah created this universe and then sent us to this world he put us at the center of the universe and made everything serve us sun moon earth air animals plants etc everything serves us in this case is it ever possible that allah doesn't send someone who will tell us about this universe read it to us answer these important questions in our minds and tell us about our creator of course not possible of course he had to send a prophet and he did well why did these prophets emerge in us this is the world of testing that's the place where believers and non-believers will be revealed the reward and punishment are in the hereafter with our free will it's up to us to believe or not to believe in the existence and unity of Allah and his prophets if those prophets had descended from the sky not from among ourselves and if they were different from us that's if they had wonderful powers then the mystery of the test will be gone everyone would willingly nearly believe charcoal and diamonds were indistinguishable each other so who would believe and who would not believe would not be clear that's why all the prophets came out of us and they ate drank dressed like us they would get hungry cry etc like us in conclusion friends prophets are needed for us to read this book of the universe and to answer the questions in our minds and those prophets must come out of us 